Tired of battling it out for control of the TV remote? Well, rest easy now. NBC's Jeff Rawson is here with uh, some amazing new technology, Jeff. Who wins in the Gregory house? Uh, pretty much my wife, yeah. Okay. Exactly. Same in my house, trust me. I know. <laughs> if you live with someone, anyone, you know exactly what we're talking about. You want to watch Meet the Press? Yeah. You like that? She I wants like to watch that. The Bachelorette. But now with a simple <laughs> swipe of the hand or a point, a new invention could change that fight forever. Reign supreme in your house. Marcel, Marcel, give Rossi the remote. Marcel, you give Rossi the remote right now. Yeah, not a chance. Since the dawn of this device in the 1950s. Or it lets you tune TV without moving from your easy chair. The battle lines were drawn. Now control of the clicker can turn into World War III. We fight over the remote every night of the week, and then I end up going to sleep in the spare bedroom because we keep fighting. She doesn't know how to work the buttons Just correctly. Like she can't fast forward as quickly as I can. I can stop it right on the point where I need to. Yeah. I mean, she pretty much monopolized everything else, and I watch the remote. I, TV is it. What else do I have? It's an epidemic. According to a recent study, 91% of families fight over the remote. For 12%, it gets physical. Ouch. But hang on, we have a solution for you. You're unbelievable. It's called Gesture Tech, and Francis McDougall invented it. This is going to change the way we use TVs. No more fighting for the remote, just raise your hand and take control. It's that easy. Your hand becomes the remote. Wave it side to side and change the channel. Point at the TV and set the volume. Clap your hands to turn the TV off. And it's not some pie-in-the-sky invention. This technology is coming soon. It'll be in Hitachi flat screen starting next year and other brands soon after. We wanted the gestures to be simple, and everyone knows how an iPod wheel works. So we made that the basis for changing the channel and for many of the other controls. Here's how it works. There's a special 3D camera mounted on your TV. It's small, but it's smart. Reading your hand gestures from up to 12 feet away and controlling every function on the set. What happens if mom and dad are both sitting on the couch and they're both waving their hands around? Does the TV just go crazy? We can actually program the system to know who dad is and mom is. And you can set which one you want to give dominance to. And it's not just for your TV. You can hook up the system to control almost every function in your house. Wave your hands and adjust the heat or air conditioning. Wave another way and turn on the lights. It can also control your computer and answer your phone. So could this system really replace our beloved remotes? Time to put it to the test. To be truly authentic, I need to be in my real TV clothes. I'll be right back. Ah, much better. You wave to turn the TV on and look like an idiot in the process. The movements are pretty simple. Scroll like an iPod. And then point to choose an option. There are some kinks, though. If the camera isn't exactly centered, the system can't read your gestures. But for the most part... Yeah, I can't use it. This. It works. The ultimate in laziness. Okay, quick recap. I can change the channel. I can put the lights on and off. I can control the air conditioning and the heat. I can even answer the phone. I'm never leaving this couch again. Heck, I can't even end this story. <laughs> I think we've all learned something here. I should never wear sweatpants on television. Good, <laughs> yeah, good, yeah. good news is the technology is pretty cheap. It'll only add $50 to the price of your TV. This demo you just saw was a prototype. You saw the camera mounted under the TV. But when it hits the market next year, the camera will actually be built into the set. So, David, you won't even see it at all. I'm still a little tripped up on the dirty uh, tube socks, actually. That's where that thing's going. All right, <laughs> that so, was gross. So, let's, uh, so, so we can test this out here? Yeah, and go for show it. We have it here for you. So, so I, I can wave, wave because it's been set to be that where I'm dominant. Now, iPod and wheel, remember. Let's iPod wheel, so I make my, I do my circles, and yep. I choose, I choose this. Nice. And that's pretty, that's pretty good. And then, and you, 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 do, okay. you wave like this and do the volume. Say then you have the volume that's control. Great. Now, I guess my question is, what happens if you have one of these Ben Stiller movements from Meet the Parents, you know, where you go, <laughs> what are you going to do about that? You know, yeah, or, you know, you've got kids around, right. and they're making a lot of commotion. Well, you can choose dominance. So the camera is very smart. It right. knows that you're David Gregory and I'm Jeff Ross, and it okay. likes you better, <laughs> like <laughs> yeah. most people. Okay. And, and so you can set it that way, and it only recognizes certain hand gestures. So if you're rooting for a football game and doing yeah. that with something like this, it doesn't recognize that particular hand gesture. It's not perfect, but chances are you'll be okay. It's designed for that. Okay. 
Okay, so the issue is, but this is not about, uh, it's not really going to settle the control problem. Right. Right? Somebody's still got to be <laughs> right. dominant. But it really, and it, it can extend to other things. It can control other devices. Anything you control with a, a typical remote control, your, DV, your DVD, your stereo, your right. lights, your air conditioning, anything you normally control right. with a remote, you control with this. Okay, I'm being told this is the hand gesture we need right now for this segment, <laughs> bye which bye. is bye-bye. And this apparently will live your life for you as yes, well. Yes, it's going to go to work for you, too. <laughs> thanks very much. <laughs>